Hello students, I am Bandu Banikam from Department of Chemistry, Maharshi Dayananda Mahavidyale, Paril, Mumbai. For SYBSC Semester 3, in Paper 2 of Practical Course, you have short organic preparations and their purifications as major component. In this video, I will give you virtual visit to our laboratory and we will see Preparation of parabromoacetanilide from acetanilide. Okay, what is aim? To prepare parabromoacetanilide from acetanilide by bromination. Okay, what is requirement? Starting compound acetanilide, solvent for the reaction glacial acetic acid, solution of bromine in glacial acetic acid, 15% solution of bromine in glacial acetic acid and solvent for crystallization of product is ethanol. Okay, what is reaction? Now it is acetanilide reacting with bromine. Glacial acetic acid is medium. Here that is as a solvent. And there is a formation of parabromoacetanilide as a product. So here it is there as a major product. Okay. Para bromo acetanilide. What type of reaction it is? Aromatic electrophilic substitution. What is the directing influence of anilide group? It is ortho para directing. But as this anilide group is bulky group, major product will be at position 4, that is at para position. Side product is hydrogen bromide. See how to perform it in a laboratory. So procedure for this, we will see, okay, weighed amount of acetanilide is taken in a conical flask. In that, around 5 centimeter cube of glacial acetic acid, I am adding, We have to shake it. We have to dissolve that acetanilide in glacial acetic acid. There is a formation of solution. Then we have to add 15% bromine solution bromine in glacial acetic acid solution slowly drop wise with constant shaking By using dropper, we have to add that bromine solution in glacial acetic acid. A reaction will start. Little excess bromine we have to add. It is example of aromatic electrophilic substitution. Bromonium ion formation is there that Br plus will be attacked by pi electron cloud of benzene ring as NH group of anilide group is electron donating by positive resonance effect electron density at ortho and para position will be more but para product is there as a main product since that uh, anilide nhcos 3 group is little bulky we have to keep adding we have to keep it for standing at room temperature for 15 minutes with periodical shaking. 
crystal formation will take place and those crystals we have to separate by filtration color of product is pale yellow but here it is appearing as a yellow means there is unreacted bromine so we have to use water for washing this product washing this precipitate unreacted bromine goes there in filtrate in water that goes in filtrate Uh, rinse that conical flask by using water we will remove filter filter paper having a residue that is product we will press it with two three filter papers so as to avoid loss of yield will convert that into a lump we'll keep it on watch glass and we have to keep that watch glass on boiling water bath for drying After complete drying, we have to determine its melting point, we have to measure its weight. Okay, come to the next point. Now here product is formed. Yeah, sorry. After little drying, we have to purify it by using ethyl alcohol as a solvent for crystallization. Okay, now then see what are observations. And calculations now here for calculation uh, required thing is what a reaction and that you have to learn what is structure of reactant what is structure of product all that at the same time that will give you idea for the calculations so here for for calculation of theoretical yield molecular weight of reactant and molecular weight of product that you have to see now molecular weight is weight of all atoms sum of weight of all atoms that is atomic weight in order in molecule and for acetanilide it is 135 gram 135 that that is number we will put that as a gram one unit so it will be measurable and molecular weight of product is 214 and that we will consider as a 214 gram according to law of conservation of mass sum of atomic weights of all sum of molecular weights of all molecules involved in a reactant is equal to sum of atomic uh, molecular weight of all products formed in the reaction so here accordingly we have to consider it as 135 gram is equal to 214 gram now suppose we have started with one gram of acetanilide then how much it should be and that is our theoretical yield so that will be equal to one gram that is weight of reactant taken multiplied by one multiplied by weight of product formed that is cross multiplication okay one multiplied by 214 divided by 135 okay gram gram will get cancelled one gram will remain there and this will come out as 1.58 gram so by assuming 100 percent conversion of acetanilide into para bromo acetanilide okay this must be the weight if we start with one gram of acetanilide okay in previous video already i have explained what is exact formula 
for theoretical yield theoretical yield is equal to weight of starting compound taken multiplied by weight molecular weight of product divided by molecular weight of the reactant so for the calculation of percentage practical yield okay for 1 gram if 100% conversion is there it must be 1.58 gram but suppose our observation is we have obtained just 1 gram of the product okay weight of product is equal to 1 gram so then for that corresponds to 100 percent then 1 gram corresponds to how much and that we will calculate as 1 divided by 1.58 into 100 and that will give you percentage practical yield and it will be approximately uh, 65 66 percent okay that you will see by calc by doing calculation okay we will go for what are important questions for viva okay now this is about calculation and observation part yes crystallization we have to do regarding that also we will discuss on the basis of some important questions already that you did in uh, previous year okay result table will be like this melting point you will write and melting point will be around 168 degree celsius now here yield of product obtained we have assumed one gram theoretic theoretical yield whatever that we have calculated we have to put and percentage practical yield we have to write what are viva questions what is the reaction involved in this preparation it is aromatic electrophilic substitution reagent used for the preparation is bromine in glass elastic acid you should be able to write a reaction on paper reaction condition solvent is glass elastic acid no heating but standing is required at room temperature with periodical shaking solvent for crystallization is ethyl alcohol and you have to calculate theoretical yield you have to remember their formula structures of all molecules involved in a reaction involved in uh, this uh, which we are using as a chemicals for this preparation you have to remember sublimation is not required here now crystallization in crystallization you have to dissolve that uh, crude product formed in appropriate solvent in that solvent that product must be insoluble at normal temperature but it, it should get dissolved on heating melting point you have to write their definition you should be able to tell now there are different type of impurities soluble impurities and insoluble impurities effect of impurities on melting point that will lower melting point of the product general formula for calculation of theoretically you should be able to tell now principle involved in formation that formulation of uh, formula for calculation of theoretical yield is law of conservation of mass percentage yield that you have to calculate by using that appropriate formula you should be able to take formula then what is sublimation little more about crystallization i would like uh, tell uh, there are two time filtrations first filtration in what condition after dissolving that uh, crude compound in given solvent during that procedure if we filter in what condition insoluble impurities will remain on cotton plug cotton plug we have to use for fast filtration then filtrate obtained is called mother liquor that we have to cool where crystals of products will form after enough cooling we will again filter by using filter paper on filter paper pure product will remain and all soluble impurities will go away with solvent used so in this way soluble impurities and insoluble impurities from the crude compound are removed next experiment we will see in next video